joining us from Calgary for the latest on that is Sun News reporter Josh Skernick. Josh, thanks for joining mm -hmm. us and uh, fill us in on what we're hearing now about uh, Jim Prentice probably possibly becoming a, a very major contender for the leadership of the PCs. Well, Daniel, this really caught us all by surprise. I am in Calgary here today, but of course I'm based at the legislature in Edmonton, and I can tell you that every other day the question goes, will Jim Prentice run? And we're asking the ministers, will you support him? Well, now media reports are, as you said, swirling around saying that, yes, that is the case. And I can say that our Calgary reporter, Rob Gitson, has been following up on this, and he says that he has contacted the finance minister's office, who has been a big supporter of Jim Prentice running, and he says that office is confirming that Prentice is getting together an election team and that a formal annou announcement will come in the coming days. So it looks like Jim Prentice will be one of the front runners for the next Premier of Alberta, Daniel. Now that's going to be a, a huge development in that uh, budding race. I don't think the race officially starts until uh, May 15th, uh, but it, it also, this, I mean, this news comes just as everyone's talking about Allison Redford being being missing in action, but it certainly takes the spotlight off of a spotlight off of her controversy and places it on Jim Prentice and, and the future as opposed to the past. Well, Daniel, the big question is, can Jim Prentice lift this party, which is currently battling for fourth place in the polls, back into the good graces of Albertans? And, you know, if there was ever a person to do it, it would be Jim Prentice, I guess you could say. I mean, he is the vice president of CIBC, a former MP, cabinet minister. Right now, he's working for Enbridge, doing Aboriginal relations in Western Canada. And so, obviously, this is a person with a huge portfolio. But as you said with Redford, of course, uh, we just learned this weekend that uh, while she was gone from the legislature citing uh, either uh, bereavement, Ill illness, or work doing constituency work outside of the legislature, she was actually in Palm Springs for some of it doing we don't know yet. But the Wild Rose was saying, they actually came out today saying that if Redford was just holding on to her seat in order to uh, save a by-election for a Jim Prentice win, well, that was unfair to the people, people of Calgary Elba. Well, now with Jim Prentice about to supposedly make an official announcement, it will be uh, interesting to see how that works out, how Redford keeping her MLA spot and how where Jim Prentice will fit within the framework of Alberta government in the coming weeks and months. Yeah, because because Prentice obviously has that Calgary connection, and a Calgary mm -hmm. riding in uh, in in the in the legislature would probably be a prime real estate electorally for him. Well, you know, it's a safe bet that he's if he were to go to Calgary Elbow, it would be a safe bet that he would win it. And two, obviously, this is one of the hotbeds of Alberta, and of course, he's a no name here. People uh, respect him, and so yes, of course, it, it would definitely help his case, and it would definitely help the PC party. Daniel. All right, Josh Gernick in Calgary, thanks for bringing us that. No problem.